Alright, I'm back with chapter uh, 24. Talking about um, Balaam's third, or third oracle. It says, uh, When Balaam saw that it pleased the Lord to bless Israel, he did not go as, as at other times to look for omens, but set, but set his face towards the wilderness. And Balaam lifted up his eyes and saw Israel camping tribe by tribe. And the Spirit of God, which is the Holy Spirit, came upon him, and he took up his, his, his discourse and said, the oracle of Balaam, the son of Beor, the oracle of the man whom, whose eyes is open, the oracle of him who hears the words of God, who sees the vision of the Almighty, falling down with his eyes uncovered. How lovely are your tents, O Jacob, your encampments, O Israel, like palm groves that stretch afar, like gardens beside a river, like aloes that the Lord has planted, like cedar trees beside the water. Water shall flow from his buckets, and his sea shall be in many waters. His king shall be higher than Agag, and his kingdom shall be exalted. God brings him out of Egypt, and is for him like the horns of a wild ox. He shall eat up the nations of his, his adversaries, or his enemies, and shall break their bones in pieces, and pierce them through with his arrows. He crouched, he lay down like a lion, and like a lioness who will rouse him up. Blessed are those who bless you, and cursed are those who curse you. And Balak's anger was kindled against Balaam, and he struck his hands together, and Balak said to Balaam, I called you to curse my enemies, and behold, you have blessed them these three times. Therefore, now flee to your own place. I said, I said, I will certainly honor you, but the Lord has held you back from honor. And Balaam said to Balak, did, did I not tell your messengers whom you sent to me? If Balak should give me his house full of silver and gold, I would not be able to go beyond the word of the Lord to do either good or bad of my own will. What the Lord speaks, that will I speak. And now, behold, I am going to my people. Come, I will let you know what his, what this people will do to your people in the latter days. So, um, and, you know, that's, that's just the Balaam's third, third oracle. God tells Balaam what, what to tell Balak, and Balak, I mean, uh, Balaam tells Balak, you know, what what God told him. So, and there you go. And, um, basically, Balak gets mad at Balaam. Because Balak didn't, because uh, Balaam didn't do what Balak wanted. Because Balaam, Balaam, Balaam stood for God, and he didn't stand for evil people. So he, so he stood for God, and of course the evil people of the world rose up against him. But then God will defeat his enemies, because Balaam stood up, stood up for the Lord. <clears throat> um, Balaam's final oracle, and he took up his disclosure and said. The oracle of Balaam, the son of Beor, the oracle of the man who, whose eyes is open, the oracle of him who hears the words of God and knows the knowledge of the Most High, who sees the vision of the Almighty falling down with his eyes uncovered. I see him, but not, but not now. I behold him, but not near. A star shall come out of Jacob, which is Israel, and a scepter shall rise out of Israel. It shall crush the forehead of Moab, which is um, Jordan today, and break down all the sons of Sheth. Edom shall be disposed. Seir also his enemies shall be dis should be dispossessed. Israel is doing the and and one from Jacob shall exercise dominion and destroy the survivors of cities. Then he looked on Amalek and took up his disclosure and said, Amalek was the first among the nation, but its end is utter destruction. He looked on the Kenite and took up his disclosure and said, Enduring is your dwelling place, and your nest is set in the rock. Nevertheless, Cain shall be burned when Asher takes you away captive. He took up his, his disclosure and said, Alas, who shall live when God does this? But ships shall come from Kittim and shall afflict Asher and Eber, and he too shall come to utter destruction. Then Balaam rose and went back to his place, and Balak also went his way. So basically, Balaam stood up for God and... Balak got ticked off and, and left. And that's what happens, man. When you stand for God, the world will come against you. The world will persecute you. It will may, it may, may even try to kill you because it killed Christ, but Christ defeated it through his resurrection. Amen. But when you stand for God, the world's going to want to persecute you. It's just, I mean, it's just, it just happens. And it, actually, Christ says in the Gospels to, to actually lo to love it because it shows, it, shows, uh, it shows you fruit that you have fruit of salvation because if you're truly saved, you want to stand up for God, and, and you're going to reject sin. If you're not truly saved, then then you hate God because you continue in sin, and there is no repentance. 
So that that's why. That's why you always need sent for God, no matter what. And uh, anyway, that's that's chapter twenty four about belongs to our, about about a belongs to oracle and his final oracle. So uh, twenty five will be next. I'll be right back.